Hello, and welcome to the Art of Selling Online Courses. The goal of this podcast is to share winning strategies and secret hacks from top performers in the online course industry. And today's guest is Andy Fawcett. And he's a lifelong martial artist and a former school teacher. And he's deeply concerned with autonomy and fitness education. He's CEO of GMB Fitness, and he's dedicated to providing an open and accessible culture for clients and for staff to enjoying more of what they're truly capable of. And we're gonna get into what that means throughout the interview. And what they're doing is they're selling courses about physical movement and they're absolutely crushing it. One of the things that they do exceptionally well is their tone and their style. And we're gonna get into that as well. Now, before we start learning from Andy, I wanna mention our sponsor. The Art of Selling Online Courses is brought to you thanks to my company, Data Driven Marketing. And we help online course creators increase their online course revenue 20 to 100% through strategic funnel optimization. So if you need help with increasing opt-ins, email marketing, webinars, any kind of funnels, then get in touch. Go to datadrivenmarketing.co slash calculator to find out how much more you could be making from your courses with the ideal funnel. The, the biggest thing is I, when I'm hiring is one of the things I try to do is I try to solve for empathy. So everyone on our team is, is pretty invested in our mission and is a really good listener. So when we have our clients going through our courses, we get a lot of quantitative data, but we also ask their opinions. We ask them how things are going. We try to make sure, you know, check in with them, see if they're making progress. And we listen to their questions. We listen to their frustrations. And when we do this, we're not trying to answer the question. We're trying to sort of answer the question behind the question. This is what happens a lot of times. Somebody says, well, you know, how do I do this exercise? And while well, they're looking at a video of how to do the exercise, they want us to explain the exercise by email now. No, what they're saying is that they're having trouble with figuring out how to do it the way the person in the video is demonstrating it or something like that. There's something that is causing them to not be able to get the information out of what we're saying. So it's our job to dig into that. Our team is, is pretty well trained and pretty interested in learning from all of our client contacts. And this is something when we get into marketing later too, it'll, it'll be important again. Everybody at our team is just really, really interested in the people that we're helping. So when we do have these conversations or interactions with them, we're trying to find ways that we can make things better and make it work better. So it's something that I think it, it might just be a personal makeup thing, but I think there's also a degree of training and a degree of just interest in the client that goes into to looking at these interactions as a source of qualitative data, a way to learn, and a way to, to gather information about how to improve what we're doing. 